palm tree. Author, Simon Ipu. Illustrator, Rob Owen. Publishers, African Storybook. Do you see a tree over here? Yes, this is called a palm tree. So today we are going to read a story about a palm tree. Let me tell you about the palm tree. Do you see this tree? This tree has a long and thin trunk. This part of the tree is called a trunk. And these are the leaves. Do you see how these leaves look? They look like fans, isn't it? And we also see that there are some fruits here. I'm sure you have all seen a palm tree. You know the coconut that we eat? The hard brown shell with the white flesh inside? The coconut also comes from a palm tree. This tree lives when everything else is dry. Look at the ground here. Everything is very dry. Dry is when there is no water. See over here on this ground, there is nothing else. No grass, no other plants. And this palm tree lives here where everything else is dry. The shade from a palm tree is always cool. Can you see how this boy is lying down under the tree? He is sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. The shade is what these leaves are giving him. They are making him feel very cool. There is no sun that's heating up his head. Right? So, the shade from a palm tree is always cool. We eat fruit from the palm tree. Can you see the fruits over here? See, they are hanging here in the palm tree. And this little boy... And his father or uncle, they are eating the fruits. They are enjoying them. They must be yummy and sweet. We use palm leaves to thatch our houses. Look at this house. Isn't it brown in color? So, these leaves of the palm trees, they are dried in the sun and then they are used to make houses. Do you see this roof on top of the house? This is the roof of the house and this is called thatch. What is it called? Thatch. We use palm leaves to thatch our houses. We make brooms and mats from palm leaves. Have you seen a broom? Yes, of course you've seen a broom. Brooms we all have at home and we use it to clean our floors, isn't it? When there is a lot of dust, kachra, we use the broom to sweep it up. 
And do you see this colorful piece of mat over here? This is a mat. It is the seat on which this lady is sitting. So this mat is also made with the palm leaves. Also this broom is made with the palm leaves. Oh my, so many things made from palm leaves. We use palm tree seeds for fuel. Do we see a basket over here? What is in this basket? There are these tiny round things. They are the seeds from the palm tree. Now these seeds, when you light them with a matchstick, it makes a fire. See this fire over here? And on top of this fire, there is a pot of food. So when something is lit with fire, with a matchstick to make a fire, it is called fuel. This fuel is being used to cook food. Do you see why the palm tree is important? Important, that is a big word. Important means it has so many uses and so many valuable things for these people, right? We saw how they ate the yummy fruit from the palm trees. We saw how the boy was sitting under the shade of the tree. They had also made houses with the thatched roof. They used the seeds, lit a fire and used it as fuel. They made a broom. They made a mat. So many things. That is why it is an important tree for them. Did you like the story? I liked it very much. Difficult words in the story. Shade. Cool place away from the sun. Thatch. A roof made with palm leaves or straw. Fuel. Something that is used to build a fire. Important. Something of value. Try these. What is the story about? Have you seen palm trees? Have you eaten a palm tree fruit?